Here I have a Zodian SS3 photocell. So I like to open up. I'm just curious. I made these little templates here. Um, that's a terminal layout. So you've got the big terminal with the neutral L1 and L0. That's a lamp out, lamp in, I would say. Um, yeah, so I'm going to massage this carefully in the vise and hopefully I can pop this out because the lips seem to be a glued package. So I'll stand by. These things are bloody tough to take apart and I don't want to crack the base so I'll probably have to hex all the top off. Um, yeah, let's have a crack at it. So at the moment I'm opening one up. It's a bit hard to hold the camera and uh, cut the thing at the same time so I'll abandon that idea. Well, I got the device decapitated. They are very well sealed. It's a very well sealed unit. Uh, this one has an opaque cover. Well, some of these uh, devices have a clear cover. And I've seen YouTube videos where they have actually a green colored cover. It's probably um, related towards uh, the type of uh, sensitivity to a certain amount of light in Lux. So this particular S S3 is for 70 lux, so it needs a reasonable brightness. And I noticed this actually got a photo transistor to pick up the light intensity instead of an LDR. I'll try to decipher backwards, engineer the circuit board how it's uh, designed. This is the actual switching device, a BT824 6008 transistor I need to dial into that and the circuit board the onboard voltage drop capacitor is at 275 volts rated and that looks like a 224 I think and a uh, couple of electrolytics um, I need to take these uh, the board out of the thing they look like an integrated circuit underneath here too and it's uh, copper rivets, so it's actually quite a well-made board. Although there's a lot of electronics in here. Oh, there's a date code here. Uh, 516, so 2016 I would say. Zodian LTD, and it got marked here, zodianeueurope.com. So, yeah, we're going to drill these pins out and have a look inside the device. There's quite a bit of electronics on this board, more than I expected, so these black uh, devices here look like uh, bridge rectifiers here on the right hand side. Or small uh, transistors, but they're connected in uh, diode function. So the timing I see a whole lot of SMD components, so I'm not going to reverse engineer, there's obviously some timing constants and other things in here. And then on the top side, yeah, the market neutral little active and um, the load which is actually marked at the back of this board as well they got a code on here neutral is visible there LO and L1 it's actually quite a nice uh, setup it's copper rivets from the terminals to the board well terminated but again it's electronics it's good looks good Time will tell how long it's going to last for because uh, I find it curious that these things are already being replaced less than a year old. Don't know what the reason is. They were on the skip but they're all working. Um, that's a surge diverter I think that looks like an uh, SVC surge uh, something device. And two electrolytics and then you've got the little uh, photocell. Another interesting thing is the board is designed as sodium photocell SS6. Obviously, this is the version SS3 for um, 70 lux, and we got exactly the same board in an other device that is um, the SS6 35 lux, and that got a normal LDR in here, uh, light dependent resistor. Got exactly the same component. Um, obviously, uh, the IC on the knees might be programmed differently, so. I've got 10 or 12 of these and they all appear to be working, so, so that's why I saw I put a video together of these things. Then as just a different setup here, I got a Zodian SS12. There we go. 
and I got this hooked up to an electricity meter for the day nitrate metering. Just while I'm sitting in front of it, I blocked the light a bit and the meter has just gone to the lower rate. We just let it reset itself back to the normal rate. So this is a meter with a day-night tariff controlled by a Zodian photocell. There we go, back to normal. Um, I put my hand in front of the photocell, make it darker again. And we activate the device again. Hopefully shortly. I think the manufacturer specification says it's a 15 second time delay. There we go. Other interesting thing is there's an uh, LED flashing in the photo cell which seems to be flashing all the time, every 10 seconds more or less. There we go. Click, click. So that's the Zodian SS12. Oh, it's upside down. AHD. Um, these come out of street light heads uh, from sodium lights which have been discarded. So, yeah, it works. I'm sure but Wayne would like uh, the, uh, set, uh, the idea of having a photo cell onto a uh, 2 rate meter. That's why I've done it as an experimental song. This is on a 2 rate CT meter. A lot of electronics in a small box for these devices. So that's an SS12 AHD 70 Lux 198 to 264 volts alternating current, 8 ampere 120 microfarad, typical load 3 times 400 watt high pressure sodium. So yeah, time will tell how well these things are going to perform. I'm going to keep my eyes on these in the skip because uh, they're throwing lots of them away and they appear to be working a lot of them, so that's quite good. I've got all the photos on my outside house lights, so uh, yeah. Time to experiment with these, so there will be a Zodian video coming up. Uh, oh yeah, make a schematic of uh, how to connect them actually up to a bulb, it's quite simple. <laughs>